Jump Assemble just dropped on the Taiwan server a few days ago and I've been playing this game a lot. I figure I just do a first impression video for you guys so you guys can know whether this game is good or not. So let's get right into it. Jump Assemble is a 5v5 mobile game that's a massive crossover of your favorite manga and anime from the weekly Shonen Jump. We're talking about Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, Demon Slayer and more. The only downside, at least for me, is that Attack on Titan characters are not in the game or probably won't be in the game because they are not a part of the weekly Shonen Jump. But who know, hopefully, maybe they can work out a deal and they can add characters from the series into the game. Imagine just playing Eren and shifting into his titan form and just kicking other characters around or flying across the map as levi i, I think that would just be awesome unfortunately the game is restricted to the taiwan server only which is a bit of a letdown and i find it weird that it's not even released in japan because it's produced by dana inc and co-produced by shueisha which are japanese companies and all these characters are Japanese uh, anime. I think when the game is region restricted, people tend to lose interest of it over time, but hopefully they will announce a uh, global release soon. I don't think I can comment too much on the uh, performance of the game right now because I am playing on Ping. But as far as the mechanics go, it's uh, it's good. It's really good. It plays just like Pokemon Unite, in my opinion. Uh, probably the same as League of Legends, too. I never played League of Legends, but I watch videos before and it looks the same it feels the same and i haven't unlocked a lot of characters yet i'm currently still only playing like four characters right now so uh there's not a lot of bugs that i know of but i had someone came in chat saying that there was like a farm and experience bug in the game right now but i i don't i don't know Right now, the game is only for mobile, and I hope it will be released for consoles and PCs later. It might take some getting used to it on mobile if you're coming from the Switch like me, because I play Pokemon Unite on the Switch, uh, but you'll get the hang of it. It's it's not that hard. There's a lot of gears or items that you can equip for your characters, and some of them are very descriptive, which can be a little overwhelming. But um, over time, I think you should be able to just understand what they do gameplay wise it's all about farming creeps and minions uh getting buffs and contesting for uh objectives the only difference is that there's three lanes instead of two lanes in comparison to pokemon unite there are no time limits for the matches unlike in pokemon unite where it's 10 minutes a game uh the game can run between 10 to 30 minutes uh depending on whoever uh knock out the enemy's turrets or tower first and or until somebody surrender if you have ever played league of legends or pokemon unite you will find that there is a lot of similarities in this game and coming from pokemon unite myself this game feels like a breath of fresh air and being a big anime fan i'm just happy to be able to play some of my favorite anime characters visually i think the game looks great it pretty much keeps the original art style of the anime it's not like jump force where the characters look kind of like play-doh however i do wish the characters his mouth move when they talk at least in the pick screen the game sounds good too you're getting the actual voiceovers from the anime and you can unlock more dialogue for each characters so it's not going to be repetitive it's way better than all the monotone sound and robotic sound from uh, pokemon games And the sound effects are spot on. You're getting all the authentic sound from like your Kamehameha and Chidori and Rasengan. I usually stream when I'm playing this game, so I have the music off and just have my own music playing in the background. But the built-in game uh, soundtrack is not bad. Uh, it's not distracting or anything. Two, the community is small right now being region locked taiwan uh averaging 200 to 300 views a day on twitch 
which means less drama. And even if there is drama, I won't know. Uh, that being said, the player base is pretty much the same as Pokemon Unite. You're going to get bad randoms. You're going to get people going AFK and grieving you. Uh, people stealing your jungle. There is an in-game chat feature right now too, so it can get very uh, toxic. I never played Glee too, but I heard it's the same. I guess it's just the standard behaviors for mobile games. But I also see the same behaviors in games like Overwatch and Valorant. So it, it's just typical uh, behaviors. So don't don't be surprised. But what makes Pokemon Unite so bad is the matchmaking and the punishments for bad players. There's there's almost no punishments if you're uh, throwing the game and the developers don't really communicate or listen to the community. So I'm hoping the reporting system in this game is better than Pokemon Unite and people do get punished for going to AFK and etc the game is free to download but there is currency in the game that you can use to spend on character skins items emotes and unlocking uh, characters faster but let's talk about the elephant in the room and that is the gacha system that's right some characters can only be obtained through drawing Within 100 draws, you are guaranteed an orange character with 50% chance of it being the featured character. This is called your soft pity in the gotcha system or your 50-50. If you didn't get the featured character for your soft pity, your next 100 draws or more will guarantee the featured character. You need reading vouchers to draw. One reading voucher is 100 spirit crystal. If you don't have spirit crystals, you can exchange them with star shines, which are paid currency. You'll need about 20,000 star shines for a featured characters. So quick math, not counting the discounts, 20,000 derived by 66, that's about $303. So 300 plus dollars for a feature character, which is insane. I've played gotcha games like Pokemon Masters EX and Honkai Star Rail before, and I did enjoy them for a while. But once the content became dry for me and I didn't want to spend the money to draw anymore, I slowly stopped playing them. I, I still play Honkai Star Rail a little bit, but I've completely stopped Pokemon Masters EX because it's it just became like a gotcha system cash grabbing game where they just keep releasing new uh sync pair that's what they call it or characters and uh, it's got very redundant and there's not really a good storyline to the game at all too but this does make the game pay to win too because if there's like a broken feature characters um you're gonna want to get it and people who pay then they're gonna get that broken character which is a big downside in my opinion and for a lot of people too. However, I think this does provide another reason to grind the game because Pokemon Unite doesn't give you any reason to uh, grind the game after you reach Master or uh, 1600 ELO. Uh, there's really nothing to do in the game. At the moment, I don't think the gacha system is bad for the game. The game is new and I'm simply just enjoying playing the game, but we'll see how it is over time. I think if it becomes gacha focused and they just keep adding a bunch of characters like in uh, Pokemon Master EX, then that will be bad for the game. We just got news that Minato is being released soon and he's not going to be a featured character, so that's already a plus. <laughs> Overall, I like this game right now. I just hope there will be a global release soon and maybe on consoles and PC. Uh, this game has a lot of potential and I'm looking forward to what it has to offer. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're playing this game right now or what you're uh, expecting and looking forward to this game. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I will see you guys next time. Peace.